This is Zoe's story. You definitely need to know Zoe. When you get to know Zoe, you will access important information about Hagia Sophia. You will also find the video of this true story, which you will not find anywhere else. Betrayal, assassination, religion, reason, everything. Zoe was the daughter of the Byzantine Emperor of Constantinople. She was very beautiful and 48 years old. Zoe had never married because her private life was crazy. She made good use of the fact that her father was emperor, and she did not want to be dependent on a man. She had a great interest in perfumes and fragrant oils. She used to produce them herself. The places where the fragrant Zoe walked around were always obvious. Everywhere she stepped would smell fragrant. Her father, the Byzantine Emperor Constantine VIII, had no son, only a daughter. The Emperor was gravely ill, dying, and he took Zoe at his speed. He will leave the Empire to her, but he said to Zoe, I want you to marry Romanos Argyros. Argyros, who was mentioned as a groom candidate, was 20 years older than Zoe, and 68 years old. Moreover, he was married, but Zoe accepted her desperate father's request. Emperor Argyros immediately divorced his wife. He married Zoe on the emperor's instructions. The father emperor died three days later. Argyros, who married Zoe, immediately became emperor. Zoe became empress. They lived like this for six years. Zoe, of course, had no children because of her age. She was in an unhappy marriage that started with political necessity. In fact, Zoe had a forbidden love. He was a peasant boy named Mikhail. He was extremely handsome. Michael was working as a servant in the Byzantine palace, which was famous throughout Byzantium for his handsomeness. Zoe fell in love as soon as she saw it. Emperor Romanos Argyros, who had taken him with him with his special appearance as a servant, started to behave badly and rudely towards Michele. The emperor began to publicly humiliate him. A great coincidence, the emperor died immediately. According to a rumor, he was drowned in the pool of the bathhouse. But no one can talk. Zoe immediately elevated her husband, 30 years her junior, to the throne. They lived like this for seven years. Mikhail is a young man like a statue. He's an extremely handsome man, but uneducated. He couldn't handle palace intrigue. He got depressed. Michael devoted himself to religion. He became a monk. He completely gave up his imperial powers. He wore monk clothes and became a monk. He went to the monastery. Palace matters were so heavy on the man that he spent the last two years of his life like this and died there. Zoe was widowed again. She was 61 years old. Her husband, Mikhail, who was a monk, had a nephew. His name is Mikhail. He was 26 years old. Zoe adopted this young Michael. He ascended to the throne as a son and made him emperor. Of course, son, it's all a game. Everyone knew the situation. Everyone had heard that his nephew Michael had been working so closely with Zoe ever since his uncle, the monk Emperor Michael, went into the monastery. Anyway, young Michael ascended to the throne. As soon as he ascended the throne, he got into a mood and tried to exclude Zoe. He locked Zoe in the monastery on the big island and posted guards at the door. But of course he underestimated Zoe. Commanders close to Zoe started a rebellion. The city was burned and destroyed. The palace was surrounded. Young Emperor Michael was arrested, blinded, and exiled to the island of Chios. Zoe was 62 years old. She quickly married Constantine. The emperor did it. This time his wife was finally the same age as him. They lived like this for eight years. Zoe died as emperor at the age of 70. Now let's make a connection with today. Zoe, the most magnificent woman of Byzantium, has another magnificent feature in this true story that has become part of history. When she became empress, she had her mosaic made in Hagia Sophia. The mosaic had her on one side and her first husband, Romanos Argyros, on the other. In the middle of the two was Jesus, blessing him with his right hand. The mosaic symbolized their marriage in the presence of Jesus Christ. Above the innocent-looking Zoe's head was written, 
very religious Zoe. In the following years, Zoe killed her old husband and married her young lover. When she got married, she had the mosaic in Hagia Sophia renewed. Her old husband's body was left the same, her face was shaved off, and her young husband's face was mounted instead of her old husband's face. Later, he buried his young lover and Zoe had three marriages. He had the mosaic in Hagia Sophia renovated. Her first husband's body was left apart. This time, her second husband's face was shaved off. The face of her third husband was mounted in her place. Today, the mosaic in Hagia Sophia contains the body of Zoe's first husband. There is no trace of her second husband. She has the face of her third husband. Jesus Christ continues to bless. Above Zoe's head, it says very religious Zoe. When they talk about mosaics in Hagia Sophia, they talk about Jesus Christ, the Virgin Mary, Christian saints, etc. But if you ask me, the most important mosaic in Hagia Sophia is Zoe, because the fate of Hagia Sophia is actually kind of like that. It was a church, it became a mosque, it became a museum, it became a mosque again. Now it is slowly becoming a museum again. The building is the same face, constantly changing. And very religious Zoe is smiling in the Hagia Sophia. Today we remembered one of our historical facts. If you've stayed with us this far, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Goodbye. See you in our new articles. Bugün de tarihi gerçeklerimizden birini hatırladık. Buraya kadar bizimle kaldıysanız lütfen beğen butonuna basmayı ve abone olmayı unutmayın. Yeni yazılarımızda görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.